What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Um, this is the Peace Dealer. Shout out to uh, one of you in the other video who was saying that I had eye crust in my eyes, and you know, if you felt you felt that you had the need to tell me, and I just need to let you know I'm savage. Like I, I'm aware. I I will do videos with eye crust. I know you meant well too, and and. And you know the Virgo, the Virgos are already used to my savagery. But like I'm no, I don't care if I have eye crust in my eye. I don't care if my lips are chapped. I don't do videos for aesthetic and image. I know people watch it because I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. Uh, if I have a stank ass breath, I'm gonna make a video. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. I am not Libra, guys. I am not Sagittarius that will wait at least hours to make the no. We're good. We just go out here. Shout out to Aries, nigga. We savage. Anyway, hold on. I know you meant well. I'm not saying that to make fun of you. I'm just saying that for the memo. Like, you must be you must be new to this channel. I be doing that. Like, I crust and I straight up. Like, I, don't, I I'm aware. I just don't care. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to wait to send this message, but you know, given that there were three mass shootings in a week, somebody messaged me and said, "Yo, I'm starting to see that what you've been saying in your videos is right." Because I mentioned earlier. First of all, remember when? I did that live transit talk, and when I say, remember when I said this, I don't want to fulfill that trope where, you know, oh, see, I told you this shit was going to happen, and it happened. I'm the only one who's predicting shit. No, 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 no. There's, there's, there's a good number of other people who call and shit out, too. I want to honor and respect y'all, because in the age where we're being censored for telling the truth, and people would rather, you know, proliferate false narratives to get popular, I honor you. You're not, you're not, you're rare. You are rare, okay? So I'm not going to act like I'm the only one. Shout out to Candice, okay? My podcast partner, she, she, she don't miss either okay um but it is documented on video multiple times that you know I, I did do a venus in capricorn transit talk uh last year where i did come in dressed as undertaker and said look you're gonna see evidence of death the horseman acting a lot more and then you know astro world happened and then you know i did do another transit talk earlier talking about listen guys you're going to see definitive proof that we are in the apocalypse now. The veils are gonna start lifting and you're gonna start to see the agenda that is at way. And of course, we've had three mass shootings in a week. You're starting to find miscellaneous information about Tory Lanez and also Megan Thee Stallion come out, which allude that maybe she was lying is still too soon to say. And for those of you who are sick and fed up of the Tory Lanez Megan Thee Stallion case, that's your Groundhog Day. You have to follow that case. Because what happens to Tory happens to you. You don't even know it yet. You don't even know it yet. Yeah, don't even know it. Toy represents the independent artist. Who do you think you are? Are you a label? Are you an organization? Yeah, you better follow that. And follow Joe Rogan too. And then also, you want to keep in mind that with this happening, Pluto's 28 degrees. And after this retrograde, it's going into Aquarius at zero. So I think it's time to share this message. Sharing this message too soon is not going to resonate with people who are still attached to this old world order. Because it's all you know. It's all you know. This country was founded in 1776. Most of you are not vampires. So you weren't around in the 1800s. And so you've only known this existence post-1900s, after 1933, especially after corrupt organizations hijacked the bank and did all this bullshit that they do. Mm -hmm. Okay? So anyway, what I want to let you know is it's the end of the motherfucking world, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not saying that out of nowhere. Last time Uranus was in Taurus, America had the Great Depression after the Roaring Twenties that saw the greatest economic rise. If you went to school in America, they taught you this in social studies. Okay, cool. Uranus was in Taurus. Then it went into Gemini, Neptune went into Aries, and America had its civil war. Back then, before the First World War, global economies weren't necessarily set up to where every country had their hand in what every country's doing. So now that Uranus is back in Taurus, you are getting ready to witness the greatest financial crash of all time. Because at some point, Pluto will be in Aquarius and it won't exactly square Uranus, but it's going to energetically square Uranus in Taurus. Okay? Every single facet of this apocalypse has been manufactured. 
the bioweapons, the skirmishes of war, the famine and food shortages, and as you'll see soon, the deaths. So the whole notion, which has already been proven or, or speculated that some BlackRock group caused this crypto crash. I'm not talking about this current crypto crash. Forget any crypto crashes you see. The entire financial market is going to be rigged and crashed. This is not a prediction. This is, this is just an inevitability. Okay? And it's not going to be something you see coming. It's just going to be something that happens. Pluto and Aquarius is going to bring the proliferation of more shootings and hackings. Get comfortable with the fact that hackers will run the world for a short minute. Your infrastructure, see all this infrastructure here? Okay, the infrastructure of any community that builds a country's GDP is vital. It's vital for a country to breathe. It's almost like it's fuel and lifeblood. So if I was gonna invade a country, I would instantly destroy its infrastructure. So that all the people who come in to make a living, they won't be able to go anywhere. Okay? So listen. Pluto is 28 degrees. It's retrograding. It's going to go direct near the end of the year. And by April, after the sun goes one degree Aries, this should concern you. Pluto's going to go into Aquarius. We know that March 21st, 2020, when the sun was one degree Aries, the apocalypse started. Okay? And we had this fucking reset. So now with Jupiter and Aries resetting the one, two, three count, okay, 2020, 2021, 2022 was the reset, but 2023 is the beginning of the end of the world. And that is going to bring in one of the biggest financial crashes ever. And now a global market will affect everyone in the world. And so this is why I have to ask you, like, why are you still invested in a dying world? Thankfully, not all of you, but... It's still hard for you to accept that the influencers that are being bought off by these oligarchs are distracting a whole generation of people, telling you to buy this car, telling you, influencing you to buy this brand. Okay, when this financial crash happens, none of your money will matter. Like, really ask yourself right now, I want you to imagine, the markets have crashed. Every single currency is worth shit. It's not worth shit. We already seen this happen with Russia. None of the currency you have is worth shit. So the money you have in your bank is not going to buy you anything, okay? Some of you sacrificed money to learn skills. Now when this crash happens, you have unique skills that no one else knows. I know I'm gonna be good. I have multiple skills. But one thing I have that most other people don't have is that when the internet is gone, you're not gonna be able to pull up charts. Uh, we got that in our heart. We know exactly what the outer planets are going to do. You give me your birthday. I know your sun sign at least. I could give you a horoscope. And that's just going to be highly valuable because it's going to be highly accurate. Okay? What's up? A lot of you have built these skills in ways where other people are like, what the fuck? This is useless. It doesn't do anything for this world. That's because it wasn't meant for this world. You're not meant for this world. You're meant for the new heaven and a new earth, albeit which will be built off of the mass extinctions of many species, humans being included, and after this occurs and the infrastructure falls and there's this beginning of anarchy, okay, temporarily, all these, all these, all these families, all these wealthy families that have really gotten rich off of finessing y'all to pay them, they gonna be good. They got the resources. They gonna weed y'all out. And then all the people who were prepared, who are next, it's going to be y'all versus them. The final showdown. Okay? After they've weeded everyone else who fell for their schemes, you pesky asses are going to be the last one. You people who are trying to awaken everybody. You 144,000. That's going to be the final Armageddon and showdown. Okay? And the thing that I love about this is that everything that I'm saying sounds so far-fetched. Just like everything we said last 10 years. See, you guys said it was super far Y'all were looking at Candace crazy. Y'all were looking at us crazy when we said Trump would get elected. You were looking at us crazy when we said that the financial markets would crash as soon as Uranus went into Taurus. That happened. Okay? Listen, we haven't missed. Just reminding you. Okay? So, like, just know you're not in this period for nothing. 
you are awakening abilities to help you facilitate the entrance into a new world. Look at any Pluto Sagittarius if you don't believe me. They're awake. They're showing you. Okay? I'm not saying this to shame other people or not. Wake the fuck up, guys. Please ignore this distraction. This does not exist. We have less than a couple years. It will never exist again. The last time Pluto was in Aquarius, you had millions of people die because colonists came from another country and spread pestilence, illnesses. Millions of people in South America died because of foreign illness. Pandemic. You had millions of people die because of manslaughter and body snatching. War. Colonization. Seriously, you had famine. Like, this is just a repeat, guys. There's nothing new under the sun. So you have to be, you know, back then it was no taxation without representation. And now we you know, now we have a 12th house Scorpio who's determined to destroy this country to the point where it's like, hey, he's doing his job. I can't even be mad. But you got to do your job, too. I really hope this is extreme enough to where you reject some of this news. But it's not my job to say what you want to hear. It's my job to tell you the truth. And after I saw three mass shootings in a week, I knew 28 Pluto is not playing. It's time. It's time. You're going to effectively that last two degrees of Pluto, 29 and 0, see the collapse of government structures. You know it. See all the corruption exposed and start to see the collapse of the faith humanity has in the government because Pluto and Aquarius is awakening humanity and the revolution of the individual. So the point of this video was to confirm many of your hunches that this shit is going down. But as Neptune is in, it's not until Neptune goes into Aries, the fog will clear and you'll realize everything you've been deceived. So while the fog is still up, trust your internal compass that knows because you're being gaslighted. Remember, most of what you see happening, you only know because it's reported to you. You don't know for sure that what's being reported to you is actually happening. So the fact that you're being lied to about 99.99% of it, can you say you know? You don't. I'm not going to say you're being lied about it, but I can say you won't know if you were. And that should already be a huge red flag. Media should be transparent, not this fog of rhetoric. Okay? This is not a conspiracy theory. Everything that I'm saying is based off of hundreds of years of research that if you looked up on your own, you have always seen. The spirit has already shown you what's meant for you. Some of you are trying to uncover mysteries that you're not meant to see. Spirit has already uncovered mysteries that only you're meant to get. You're trying to share other people. It's not meant for their eyes. Most of these people aren't even going to be around. I'm going to say it again. Most of these people are not even going to be around. Okay? Remember, last time Pluto was in this area, most of the people on Earth died. Okay? So, listen. it's not. And we had a million people die with pessimists, baby. So, like... I'm just preparing you for what's coming because it starts slow and then it accelerates really fast. So 2020, 2021 was the slow start. 2022 is going to accelerate things and 2023 with Jupiter, Aries, boom. And you're going to start to see the segue here. So honor Saturn Pisces and honor Saturn Aries. Okay. Saturn Pisces that was born in the 60s, but the new Saturn Pisces that was born 94, 95, 96, and Saturn Aries that was born 96, 97, 98. These are young kids that have to inherit the mission of the apocalypse at such a young age and bridge generations. They didn't ask for this bullshit. They have to deal with this. Uh, Saturn, Alcoa, Saturn Cap, we're going to support you. Pluto Scorpio, we're going to support you. Pluto Sag. But I'm only making this video to let you know, as you will continue to see this week, more of the evidence of this, I want to ask you, where are you investing your focus? In a dying world and economy, are you still grinding to make money that will not be worth shit? Or are you focusing on skill sets and a cultivation of your energy that will transcend you from depending on the system so that when it goes down, you can lead instead of follow. The choice is yours. I will say it for the umpteenth time. This is the end of the world and the kingdom of God is at hand. If you don't follow Jesus Christ, you better hit him up because he has eternal life to share if you actually walk in spirit and truth. But if you don't wanna do that, it's, it's all you. Uh, just stay prepared. Because I think more than ever, the rest of this year will give you clear indication that everything you've ever known is a lie. Enjoy this unveiling. Godspeed.